One of the rare occasions that I have to jump on and talk about a fragrance that's for women. The only reason I smell this is because I just put it in my Max Aroma sample kit, but this I had to make a video separate from my sample kit because let's roll my motherfucking music and talk about because it's for my ladies. Listen, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you, to be to the A. Boys, step aside. Step aside or just watch from the sideline because you might want to get this for your significant other. Ladies, so for the first time, y'all are going to be placed on the proper pedestal that you deserve on my channel. I apologize for my negligence. But the fact of the matter is that if I buy female fragrances, I would obviously have to give them to my wife. And my wife, we all know, is quite particular about fragrances so that's like a guaranteed waste of money but i put this fragrance because it was a newer release by perfumes de marley i was just curious because like delina and darcy and shit like that those are really nice fragrances so i'm like let me put one on for the ladies for my sample pack this month but i've never smelled it so it's also an excuse for me to snort it fragrance that i put in my sample pack this month is by perfumes de marley and that's oriana now I'm gonna spray this on myself again. It's a woman's fragrance and I'm probably gonna get smacked for smelling like a chick, but it is what it is. This is for content, wife. This is fucking nice. It's so smooth, seductive, but it also has this really nice dryer sheet scent when it completely dries down that really drew me in. So the opening is very much floral, bright, sweet, very feminine, but also has a little bit of that Play-Doh vibe that I like. That has like a red colored Play-Doh, if, if you can picture that in your head. Red colored Play-Doh vibe is what I'm sensing from this fragrance. Now the notes in the fragrance are listed as mandarin, orange, grapefruit, bergamot, orange blossom, raspberry, black currant, marshmallow, whipped cream, musk, and amberette. So you absolutely get the sweetness right from jump from that whipped cream marshmallowy vibe. It's not completely gourmand in that space, but it is sugary salivating kind of sweetness. Like for my wife to be the picky queen that she is, for her to actually say, wow, this is quite pretty, is a shock beyond belief. She didn't love it. I'm not gonna sit here and cap that she was like, yo, this is the flyest shit ever. That's not what happened. Cause if that were ever to happen with a fragrance, I mean, I just fucking blow my doors off. I think Chergy was the only one that she lost her shit over. I like it, it's, it's sweet, it's diabetic, it's fabric softener, it's floral, but not like old lady floral. It's got a sex appeal factor. It has a little bit of a nightlife. Like you wanna throw on some stilettos and stockings and I don't be me, unless it's like a crazy drag show that I'm getting paid bands, maybe. So with the opening being so floral and sweet, you're like, damn, is it gonna be like overly sweet? Like it's just sweetness? No. So what seems to be happening is once it goes into the mid and dry down, that citrusy grapefruit kind of vibe really peeks through and kind of cutting it. So if you want to think of making like a lemon meringue or some kind of pie with frosting and shit on top, when people zest some sort of citrus on top of it, that's kind of the reaction that I'm getting. It's kind of like that zest just to calm down that fucking sugary confection that's on top of that pie to give it some dimension, some layers, some contrast in flavors and scents. But as previously mentioned, when it's completely dried down, it's really a very nice fabric softener kind of vibe. It isn't overly sweet, it isn't overly citrusy, the musk starts coming through, that fabric softener comfort really starts to shine, and it's not aggressive or abrasive at all, it's actually very smooth, mundane, chill, I like this fragrance a lot, and for me, this is absolutely a clam sprayer. I don't have a clam, but we'll spray the balls anyway. Oh my God, my bean smells amazing right now. If you guys are into that kind of description or if you wanna test it out, it is in my Max Aroma sample pack. You can go check it on maxaroma.com. Just get the individual sample. If you don't want my sample pack, just get the regular shit and test it out. I think ladies will like this shit. Boys, get this for your girls. Maybe they'll feel upon this shit. Or if you like wearing more feminine, sweet type fragrances, knock yourself out and try this shit out. Fuck it, wear what you want. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know what it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Who's best? One of them's gonna pass the test. Tell them. Who
fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. Uh, For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga gay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse suite on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>